Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm going to show you how I prepared these chicken tacos in a jiffy using very simple ingredients. So here I've laid out all the ingredients required for this recipe. All the ingredients used in this recipe along with measurements will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video which will direct you to my blog. I'll be using chicken keema oregano, Mexican spice mix and Kashmiri chili powder or paprika. That's up to you. You can use any one of those. I'll also be using cumin powder in this recipe friends. We need ginger and garlic paste and finely chopped onions. Now let's get started. I'm going to start preparing the filling first. So here in a wok I've added oil. And once the oil has reached temperature, I've added finely chopped onion. We'll add ginger and garlic paste. We'll fry the onion until it turns transparent. This is just the filling recipe I'm showing you. I'll be posting a separate recipe for guacamole and salsa. Here you can see the onions have turned transparent and it is fried. At this point, I'll add my chicken keema or the chicken mince. We'll slowly break it up and fry. Since this is being a chicken breast, you have to be very careful in cooking it. Otherwise, it dries out very fast and you lose all that moisture in the chicken breast. So once you've added the chicken breast, fry it for just a minute or so. Now here I'm adding oregano. I'll be adding the Mexican spice mix. We'll add the Kashmiri chili powder. We'll add uh, cumin powder. And salt as per taste. Now friends you have to keep checking for the spice level and adjust the spice level accordingly. We eat a lot of uh, spicy food. If you are serving this for kids, the spice level here will be perfect. But if you are uh, wanting to add extra spice, once the chicken is cooked, just check for the spice level. You can add extra Mexican spice and chili powder. Here I have added the chili powder because I really need some extra heat in this. So now we will fry the chicken keema very well. You can see all that moisture has evaporated. I just added quarter cup of water to cook the chicken keema. Now the chicken keema is ready. I'll remove it from the flame and allow it to set for some time. Now here I'm using ready-made taco shells. This is very easily available in the market. You can use it. One day I'll show you how I prepare tacos also at home. Now these taco shells you need to fry it. You can't use it as it is. If you put it in the microwave, it becomes very hard. So I tend to use very less oil. In a kadai, I have added very less oil, about 4 tablespoons. You can fry the entire batch of taco shells in this 4 tablespoons of oil. You just uh, place the taco shells in this uh, hot oil. And uh, you have to constantly keep turning it and keep it open. Otherwise, it shuts completely and uh, it folds. So you can't have a cavity right in the middle to stuff your chicken keema. You have to use your tongs and gently fry it and keep it open in the middle. And uh, fry it till it's nice and crispy. You have to follow this step otherwise you can't eat the taco shells as it is. So once you've uh, fried the taco shells, just drain it from excess oil and reserve it on a plate. All that excess uh, oil should completely drain out. In my previous videos, I have shown you how to prepare sour cream. Prepare sour cream or you can also use mayonnaise. Prepare mayonnaise. Prepare all the condiments required for this recipe and reserve it. Salsa, guacamole. You can see the chicken keema I have reserved. It's nice and hot. If it's not hot, you can place it in the microwave and uh, heat it up. Now we'll start stuffing the taco shells with the chicken keema. Now 
Once I've stuffed the taco shells with the chicken kima, I'm going to stuff it with the salsa and uh, serve it along with some guacamole and sour cream. It's very simple friends, try it, you'll really enjoy it. And even the salsa and guacamole, you have to prepare it ahead of time and uh, chill this in the refrigerator. Only then it will taste good. And just before serving, you have to add salt to both the dishes and uh, mix it and serve it. You can also add extra chili powder if required in the salsa and uh, guacamole. This is something like our uh, kachumbar or uh, how we prepare for our biryanis. It's the same method. It pairs very well with all these non-veg items. So salsa is very tasty. Try it. You'll all enjoy it. Detailed recipe is on my blog. The blog link will be in the description box below this video. Or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog. I've also posted all my social media handle links. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links will be in the description box below this video. And the same recipe is also posted in YouTube Tamil. YouTube Tamil link will also be in the description box below this video. So here goes my chicken tacos. I really enjoyed it. Try it friends. You will really enjoy it. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. Until next time, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.